All right, apparently the two of you have a lot of time together in this movie. We do. We do have a bit. We're friends. We are. Really? We're the Londoners and the New Yorkers. And the New Yorkers. We're yeah. neighbours in both sides of the Atlantic. Transplants together. <laughs> Transplants, exactly. <laughs> British transplants. In Infinity War, are you a freelancer? I mean, do you go back to the Avengers? What do you um, do? That's a good question. Again, I'll answer it. Um, he you, is really, really, really fun to work with. And oh, um, it's Likewise. nice to be on set with a friend. <laughs> and um, it's just, you know, it's a gas. We have a good time. We have done a lot of laughing on this movie. Peter Parker is too young for you to fill his beer like you did with Thor, right? I, mean, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I might take him on a sneaky night out, you know. If you could do that in real life, <laughs> yeah. that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. <laughs> I'd be everyone's favourite and I'd, it'd be a very cheap night. Can you was that yeah. just a CGI beer? He's so generous and I'd just be just doing that. Um, yeah, it was very well done. Oh really? It? it was really it. well done. It and Chris, brilliant. Chris's reaction to it was so funny. I think so they did funny. at some point have a rig with like a hollow base and then they were going to no do it, but way. it looks, it's just, God, yeah. they're brilliant at everything they do in that. Did he actually have to drink it down when he did it? Was uh, he he drank a little bit, but yeah, I don't think it was like drinking all of it, no. The it's no difficult feat for Chris though. Yeah, no, he's, he's a large. A pint yeah. for him is like a sip it's a big unit, for me. Yeah. yeah, it's like a yeah. little toe measure. Yeah. And he's <laughs> Australian, I mean, he just did all of it. He's an Aussie, he's yeah, huge. He can do it, he can do that thing. And how much do you help him, Peter Parker? If I'm honest with you, I actually know nothing about this movie. I I'm not allowed <laughs> to read the scripts because I'm so bad at keeping secrets for this exact reason. I would want to tell you all the secrets, and I just don't know them. Um, I know I play Spider-Man, who is a kid from Queens. His that's secret right. identity is Peter Parker. You've seen the film, right? Oh, the film yeah, came exactly. out a couple yeah, that's weekends right. ago. Yeah, that's right. That's a good. That's a good kind of. And, uh, yeah, it's so, a cheat sheet. Oh, that it's, one. Yeah, yeah that little. So, that I, little if I'm honest, student film. I have been asking for weeks and weeks if I can read the script, and every time they're like, "Nope," because you they can't just keep know a secret. They literally talk about won't it. let you read the script. Yeah, no. I don't know anything about this movie apart yeah. from my bits. He thinks he's in what Dumbo. I'm doing. He doesn't even know he's in this film. We have to, we, yeah, oh, I can't say. As soon as you walked in, oh. I was like, oh, here we, here we go. Trouble. And the Mac is going to do something. <laughs> Hydro flask. He's coming to say hello to Benjamin. How hey, baby, there's nothing good in there. Is that my juice? Bring Thomas juice by <laughs> <laughs> He gets cranky when he doesn't have his sugar. He really does. Yeah. It's, it's always a lovely moment. Thank you very much. That, Seriously, I think he wants to shop around this They need your help. The I team needs empty. your help. No, no, it's fine. They're I'm floundering here. They, they say they don't even let Peter Parker read the script. Tom's like... I talked to Kevin. Uh, this is the last interview you have to do with him. We need to switch back. Great, okay, cool. All right, All right. that's cool. See you later. Mackie and I are best friends. Thanks, Mackie. <laughs> Even if he hasn't admitted it yet, we're besties. Sebastian, I'm, I'm going to start with you because the last time we saw you. I am not in Black Panther. But you were on I ice in Wakanda, and, 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 and now I you're here. I did not have any relation <laughs> with Black Panther. Um, no, I'm not. I really am not. You're really not okay. But, you know, that gets resolved in, in this one. Oh. What else are we going to see in this movie that we haven't seen yet? We're going to see War of Infinite Proportions. That, that's a big war. That's, that that's like what I'm saying. War. You're a big old war. Um, somebody said, somebody asked whether or not it was going to match or, or be bigger than the airport sequence that we had in Civil War. And, and yeah, it would be way, way better and worse than that much bigger imagine 25 airports all put together with a hundred avengers i heard a rumor there was like a half an hour battle sequence at one point probably i mean you got yeah probably a one hour battle sequence apparently thanos pulls a uh planet planet in to like rain on you guys i mean that's, that's like serious fire and brimstone yeah. yeah that's what you do that's what you that's, that's what that's we do when you man. send in doctor strange yeah with his little man who can Turn back time. If I could turn back time. Apparently. Yeah. But do you have any beef against the Iron Man team? Because, you know. Oh, you well, seeing, uh, seeing Don Cheadle, uh, you know, every time is getting problematic. That's, that's an say. issue. Don's an issue. <laughs> um, uh, Ruffalo is definitely an issue. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you do what you can. The older cats, you know, if you look at, uh, if you look at that movie, the way it's split, it's the older cats and the younger right. cats. Right, he's talking about Cocoon. Yeah, and you know, the Classic. older cats are just very unstable in the way they look <laughs> at the world. I'm glad to see that you're walking. You walked in here. Because Thank you. the last we saw of you, you I were was not. bad shape, yeah. paralyzed. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, but when you have somebody like Tony, who is a master of tech, 
and can create things that can get you over the hump, then you can walk again. So is it sort of an artificial... Um... I don't know that I'd like to use that word. I like fake. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I like to think... No, but is it like a contraption a, that gets you walking It's an again, augmentation. It? It's an augmentation. Okay. There is a... Uh, it's semi-bionic. Uh, it's semi-bionic. I'm like Lee Majors, but twice. I'm like the $12 million man. Like the six, so bad. $60 I mean, million. million man. 60 million. 60 million. Probably by 2018, $60 yeah. million. Dollar man. Yeah, with inflation. Yeah, with inflation. I'm just going to say certain things happen to characters for a reason. Uh, That's what I'm going to say. And if you get launched into space, you should probably take the hint. It's never a, a good thing. I'm just saying. In these movies. No. No. But we get to see you again, you know, in Thor. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. You're here. That's not bad. You're me, here. You're me here. And Thor. And you're here. And where is everybody else yeah. in that one? Yeah. But you're you're still angry. I mean, you haven't gotten over that whole. I uh, know he's thing. he's even more angry than he was the last time we saw him for and, a much longer period of time. Right. Mm -hmm. But but Thor is so happy to see you. But you smash him. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? It's fun. <laughs> it's just fun. It is fun. Right? It's fun smashing him. Yeah. <laughs> he's just the puny god. Yeah, he's just puny. See, getting sent into space for him wasn't so bad. He gets to meet new friends and the galaxy people. Help yes. him. I Help mean, him. Yes. Help him. And then we have to go and save Asgard together. Well, that's good. It is. It's amazing. That's good. It's a lot Did of fun. Did you succeed in saving it? I can't. Can I say it? No. I would imagine can that I just you guys give him a little a little taste? Good. I wouldn't say too much, but you can say as much as you I mean, hey, it's your Let career. me just say this, like every other Marvel movie, it doesn't end well for the superheroes. That's true in Marvel it, it doesn't end that well. Somebody always bites or gets really badly. Wait hurt. till you see this next one. Mark. Everybody dies. Do do do. do, do, do. do. Not everybody. No. Is that No. Alien, hey, whatever. Can we rewind that part? Yeah, yeah. can we? Re you'll cut that. That's part. not. Who, is there anybody in Infinity War you, you get to meet that you're excited to meet? Yeah, am I in trouble? <laughs> a little. <laughs> is Barry gonna be mad at me? Dude, I don't. I just move on. I wouldn't okay. try to like. No, so 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 that next question. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I would like to meet. It's it's really interesting because we show. I get up, impulsive shoot, sometimes. It's fine. You're okay. gonna be fine. Right. Just we get show on impulsive. Wasn't such a great time at the end of Civil War, Lizzie. You were mm -hmm. stuck in prison. I was. Yeah, I was in How'd a straitjacket. Apparently, you get a straitjacket. Yeah. yeah that's, that's brutal. Um, that's I was here. busted out by my cat, and we've been running rogue missions since. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. You got some issues, man. I mean, uh, apparently, you may lose your stone and your head. It keeps you alive. I mean... But does it? But does I mean, it. Thanos is going to get it. it. What? Yeah, but, but does, does it? How does can it? you stay alive? But does he? But does and does he? Who knows? We, 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 we don't know that. Well, listen, we, need, we know that you survive long enough to have some chemistry here or for you to have many roles and many minutes along with Lizzie, right? So maybe Thanos can survive without. I think that's going uh, that, to be answered when people see the film. <laughs> I see. And, and Lizzie, uh, Wanda. Do you have any ill will towards the Iron Man team? No, I think she 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 buried that hatchet during Civil War. After Civil War. I don't think Regis are... both of us were very much conflicted over that stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. I do we're, think we were not. I think we were yeah. all very conflicted. I would be but, conflicted. But I think that, you know, there are there's a bigger there's bigger fish there, to yeah, fry right now. There are bigger things to worry about than someone who you... Old grievances. Yeah, old grievances. Thank you. So eloquent. They don't call them vision for nothing. But I think that you, I believe that you start to do something about this. Yes, um, so I, I, can, I think it's fair to say that Nebula um, has the same agenda as everybody else in, um, in the Avengers movie, which is to take down Thanos, um, who is the ultimate supervillain and also happens to be her father. But I feel like she maybe has a lot more emotion in it than than most of the other characters. One would think because, you know, organizing a revolt to off your dad can lead to some, you know, psychological trauma. I like to think it's gonna be her Angst? catharsis. Really? Yes. It sounds like she's gonna be pretty victorious though. It sounds like you are I actually don't know if she will be. Come on. <laughs> I don't, we've not read the script, I don't know, but I'm hoping I mean, so, because she deserves this.
What are the chances that Thor would end up on the windshield of your uh, spacecraft? What are the chances? I mean, and the great when I first read that, I laughed hysterically. <laughs> and when we shot it, it was just it's just so it was so ridiculous. And uh, actually, we had a lot of fun with that that whole scene. It was kind of the first uh, interaction between you know Guardians and Thor, obviously. Uh, but it was just there's just so many jokes to be made there with you know with how handsome and perfect uh, Chris Hemsworth is and how insecure <laughs> um, Star Lord is. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of a lot of good fun, a lot of good humor. Yeah. So you you team up with uh, the Avengers and you you got a whole new team out there that you're yeah, with. Is yeah. there anyone in particular that you really uh, were excited to meet? Um, yeah, yeah. I you know I've. You know, Robert Downey Jr. has been on a pedestal with me since I was a very young man. I just, I just always admired him, been a fan, and I've said for years and years and years that I hope the crossover happened because I thought that Drax would have such great interaction with Tony Stark, or Robert Downey Jr. And uh, yeah, it just all kind of came to fruition, and actually, it, it's it's going to happen, <laughs> and, and it's good. It's it really it's good. Funny. It's just, it's better than I thought it would ever be. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. That's awesome. Yeah, really excited about it. Was there on screen? Was there on screen? Can't speak English. Was there chemistry between you? Uh, immediately, you know, immediately. And here's the thing: is that, you know, I went to the premiere in London of Avengers Two, and Robert uh, went out of his way to come and meet me and say how much he loved me and the first film, and that meant the world to me. So it put me at kind of an automatic uh, comfort level with him. So when we, as soon as we hit the stage, man, it was just kind of, you know, there's no pressure there. I didn't feel, there was no walls. I felt like this guy was very supportive of me and I felt comfortable with him. And I think that's just him. He's a very giving actor uh, kind of across the board. But as for me personally, it just, I just felt totally at ease with him. And it just, it makes for good chemistry when you're comfortable with someone. Um, my biggest pleasant surprise was working with the Russo brothers. Because I was familiar with their films, but I wasn't familiar with how they did, you know, things on set, how they directed films. And my big concern crossing over was that um, someone was going to try to take James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy and turn them into their version of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And it, it worried me a little bit because I had already done two Guardians films, and you know, I didn't, I knew Drax, I was comfortable with Drax, I knew who he was, and I didn't want to take him in a weird direction that I didn't think was good for the character. But it wasn't that at all. They were actually very, uh, they, they kind of just let us do our thing, man. They, were, they gave us free reign to be the guardians that, that, that we know and love and, and also uh, gave us the luxury of having James Gunn write for us a little bit. Mm. But I was just amazed at how supportive they were on letting us just be our characters. I mean, they were like, just go for it. And we started, you know, we're really big on improv and stuff, uh, what the guardians are. And we started doing it, business as usual, and they just really got behind it. You know, they said, well, what was that you said? And, and they loved it. And so they had someone write it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah say that again. And so we're there, and that, that's what I mean, because, you know, that's, that's something I, I honestly just wasn't expecting for someone to be you know, just so giving and just let us just be ourselves. You know? yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it was, it was it's awesome. a really good experience. <laughs> yeah, very good. And I just like them as people. They're just a lot of fun to work with. Not only that, but it's really interesting to see how the two brothers interact with one another and how, because usually, you know, one of the brothers, Joe will see something some way and Anthony will see something that can make it just a little bit different. You know, when they kind of get together and meet in the middle, it's just kind of magic and they're just really, they have chemistry. You know, they have that magical brotherly chemistry that that comes across, it translates on the film. You know, and it makes things very good. To me, like Captain America Civil War, by far my favorite Captain America. And so you, I kind of got like a little touch of what they're capable of and as, as directors and, and I got to experience it on Avengers. They're just amazing. Tell me, what happens when you get these stones? These are, these are, these are infinity powers. powers. Every, everyone represents a power, a massive power, and all of them together the ultimate power. So does Thanos actually get the six stones? Because in the trailer I saw a few. That's all been, yeah, there's a few in there and he's always uh, pining to get another one in there. Yeah, so ultimately, we don't know. I haven't done the second movie, so I don't know. I literally don't know what the second script is. I don't know if they've finished the second script, and that's the truth. Huh. I don't know. I think that they're in the midst of, you know, structuring and restructuring. What do you want to see happen? 
Well, dude, I mean, whatever they come up with, you're talking about like nine guys who actually, like they're, they're true fans of Marvel right. on all the comic books. And they, they take off to Palm Springs and they have a barbecue over 10 days or nine days. And they sit there and they geek out. And they come up and they go like, what if Thanos did this thing and with this and he threw a planet at somebody and you go, yeah, let's write that down. They write that down. And then they have the obviously the monetary means to be able to manifest it. So they can do they can make any fantasy come true. And those are the guys to do it because they're true fans. And that's the thing with Thanos that you don't understand is there's times where it can become psychological and not necessarily brute force. Interesting, more mm -hmm. interesting for adults now. Yeah, maybe not for kids. Not yeah. that statement. But then you, your eyes kind of glimmered. They did. Intelligence, man. Intelligence. Diving right in. Smart movie. It is a smart movie. It's a really smart movie. Okay. He's a smart character. I had no idea, in all, in all truth. I had no idea. When I did the teaser, we had like 36 cameras or something, and I sat on a you know, seat, and I, did, I, did, I did, wasn't working with anybody. And now, like being actually involved and in, you know, interacting and this... I can't, I, I want to mention characters and I can't, but you know, of the characters that are in it, of the potpourri of characters that are in it, it's way more emotional and way more interactive than I thought. So I'm actually, it's a lot of fun and a lot deeper than I thought, a lot more emotional than I thought. The, I mean, are you involved in that too? I mean, do you break the fourth I, wall? Do you talk about Thanos or do you? Do I talk about Thanos in Deadpool? Deadpool. Not yet, not yet. But again, I may, I don't know. No, I don't, okay. I don't. But I don't break, and it's not that I don't break the fourth wall. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on in Deadpool that's very surprising and that will be very uh, satisfying when you see it. Okay. it. To me, it's even funnier than the first one. That's to me. When, when they asked me to do it, I was like, I do that Deadpool and I'm doing the Thanos thing right now and should I do it? And my wife just said, read it. Like, why are you even thinking? Just read it. And I read it and I laughed harder than I've laughed in a very long time. So it's really? funny. It's awesome. funny. So Cable's a funny, Cable's a funny villain. And Fa Cable can be very funny. He can be a lot of different things, but he also can be very funny. Why are Peter Parker and Doctor Strange put together? What's the chemistry there? There's a really great chemistry there. I mean, uh, uh, they both have a proximity to each other, if that's a, a hint that, uh, that I can give. But anybody who's a Marvel fan will know that they both reside in the same city. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, I think... Um, uh, Tom and, uh, and Benedict have a really uh, a wonderful chemistry and we wanted to exploit that. Yeah, how often do the actors actually get to play off one another in the acting, in, in scenes? We, it, that is an ultimate, uh, you know, that, that is a, 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 something that we a absolutely make sure happens is that as difficult as it is to schedule everyone, uh, we, we have to have them working together with each other in the scene, even though Josh is a CG character. He is still there on set huh. in a mocap suit, acting opposite all of the other actors because that interaction is where the magic happens. And he may say or do something that causes them to react and, and, and respond in a way that uh, that's unexpected.